Welcome to another sneak peek of SolidWorks 2015, where today we're going to take a look at the new Drawing Zones feature in SolidWorks. Drawing zones are common items found on engineering drawings to quickly find items on a drawing, such as a revision symbol. In this case, we're going to add a revision symbol to all the dimensions that reference this new ring groove we've added. You'll notice that once we do this, the appropriate zones now appear in the revision table and they correlate to the zone letters and numbers found along the outside perimeter of our drawing. These can now be set on a sheet format by sheet format basis by simply right clicking and choosing properties. Then go to the zone parameters tab and you can specify your unique criteria. In our case, we've chosen to evenly space five rows and six columns with a margin of 12.7 millimeters around the entire document. Additionally, to support these new drawing zones, we've added another new feature to SolidWorks 2015 called the Location Label. Location labels are great ways to build correlations between items such as the detail circle and the detail view itself that it references. You'll notice that SolidWorks not only lists the sheet that the detail view circle in this case can be found, but also the zone location. Likewise, the location circle on the corresponding detail circle view shows this as well. Let's take a look by moving this detail view over to another sheet. As soon as we do this, the location label updates automatically to show where this new detail circle is located. And in fact, if I go over to that detail view, we can see, in fact, it is located at E3. We're going to go ahead and move this view to location B5. And now when we return back to this sheet, we can see that the location label has updated properly. So as you can see, drawing zones are going to be a great way to make your engineering drawings much easier to understand.